I'm Tom Davidson with Ripping Kingston Systems. As an accomplished IT firm, we focus on delivering competitive advantage while reducing your overall IT cost. Two of our more popular offerings are our Google Apps and Virtual CIO. I invite you to visit our website or call for a free consultation. Hi, it's Brian Thomas, 55 KRC Morning Show. Happy Tuesday to you, one week away, one week. And we are in uh, down to the wire time, are encouraging people to go out and talk about candidates, and encur encouraging people to go next door, make sure your neighbor's going to go out and vote, make sure you're having an informed vote, and make sure that we all give Nancy Pelosi a nice lesson, um, a lesson apparently she doesn't get. She thinks the problem with the current polling data reflecting that Republicans are going to make pretty much of a sweep of things, it's because they haven't gotten credit for what they have done. I I'm shocked that she could even utter those syllables because it makes her sound so dumb. This is the same woman who, uh, in January of 07, banging the gavel down for the first time as Speaker of the House, promised no deficit spending. That was her promise and pledge. You don't have to believe me. you got a quote there on the online information at 55krc.com, but she promised not another dime in deficit spending. The end of that era was over, that we were going to rescue the country for our children. <laughs> She alone has, has, has seen an increase since 2007 of five trillion dollars. Five trillion. I mean, Barack Obama alone's got three trillion under his watch, but we're going back to 07. Remember, the Democrats have been in control since then. Five trillion dollars additional deficit. When she started, it was 8.6. Now it's 13 and change. The next week election is that's that's what this is all about. I mean, the the election next week is a it hopefully will be a response to this insanity, this unsustainable, absolutely unsustainable mess that the Democrats are pursuing. And they can't explain it. You heard the likes of Rob Reiner accusing Tea Party people of being Nazis? And he doesn't even understand what fascism is or the Nationalist Socialist Party is, apparently. Top-down dictatorial control, Rob. That's what fascists do. Tea Party people are interested in Limited government, free market, and fiscal responsibility. Those are all liberty giving, the antithesis of Nazis. Now, that's not to excuse those morons who did a beatdown on that socialist that was at the Rand Paul hearing the other day. I hope the guys get prosecuted if that video accurately reflects what's going on. Unless she was giving them a beatdown and they had the right and legal ability to respond in kind, you don't go beating up a woman and stepping on her head, guys. It gives everyone a bad name when you are the ones that, in fact, had the bad name. So mind your P's and Q's getting into next Tuesday. And if you think after next Tuesday it's going to get any easier, please don't. Let's have a measured expectation, but also be prepared to do a lot of hard work come November 3rd, regardless of outcome. Have a fantastic day. I'll be talking to Jeb Bush tomorrow. He's going to be in town for the NKU Lecture Series debating Howard the Scream Dean. But we'll have them on the morning show tomorrow morning, so if you can tune in, have a fantastic day.